where do y'all think Bronny James actually goes to what team? We've heard he only worked out for two teams, Phoenix and L.A. All the rumors are flying because it's the same week of the draft. Toronto's interested. Dallas is interested. Where will Bronny end up? It's it's really tough to project where he's going to go. You know, it is because we could get surprised and he might not end up on the Lakers. It's easy to say the Lakers. It is. But I believe the Raptors – I don't know if the Raptors thing is smoke, man. I don't think that Masai Ujiri putting that out there and his team putting out there isn't necessarily smoke. I know as we get close to the draft, you know, it's normal for people to lie. It's lying season. But, you know, I I do think there are teams that might like him a little more than we might think uh, they like him because there is stuff there to like, you know, once you get over the numbers from the college. And obviously there's a reason why those numbers aren't, you know, they they aren't uh, healthy in in terms of how many points he averaged and things like that. But – um yeah i i think there are a few places you can land i think toronto phoenix lakers are all l- legitimate locations dallas is another place too but dallas might be just to try to lure lebron i do think a team even though even though Rich paul's made it clear that he's that lebron and Bronny are in a package deal i do think there's a team that will be gutsy enough right to try to go after Bronny in an attempt to lure LeBron to come over there. I do think that. So you really can't rule anything out with him. The only thing I know for sure is he's going to get drafted. He's not going to go undrafted. Uh, that's for sure. But I know that Bridge Ball's big thing is that he's not on a two-way contract, and that they refuse to sign one. And so whoever, whoever drafts him better be ready to give him a standardized contract where he's going to be in the NBA and not have to play both ways in the G League and have that be a contractual obligation. So we'll see. We'll see. I can see Boston, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. That would be funny. It would be funny. But wow. like, that would be a – I'd say a home run pick, home run spot to land. Like, you'd be able to develop. You'd be able to learn from Drew Holiday, different guys over there. And he's kind of like a clone. Let nah, me I, I retract. He's got similarities to Drew Holiday that um, if you're trying to downsize and now with this cap and all that stuff, you want to develop somebody who can maybe replace – said person in a few years, then why not? Why not go for it? Like, you got nothing to lose. Like, this kid obviously is talented, if not for a bad freshman season and the heart issues that happened over the summer last year. We'd be talking about him maybe in a different light. So um, somebody's going to reach for him, somebody who believes in the talent and the potential and sees the athleticism sees the jump shot and believes, all right, now we just got to, like, mold that together and we have a solid player here. So I I wouldn't be mad at it if he went to Boston. I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't want him to go there, but, like, that's a, that's, that's a Brad Stevens sort of pick, something that people – they're not really expecting, and he'll, he'll go ahead and make that pick. I would love that for him personally, for him. To be able to sit, like you said, sit under to sit under Drew Holiday and Derek White and learn from them, and even Peyton Peyton Pritchard. And just the thing that I love about Bronny, he says from all accounts, I just want to play ball. I'm not trying to be my father, I'm not trying to be no star, I'm not trying to put my feet in his shoes. I just want to play the game the right way which sounds to me like a 10, 15 year player right there. He's going to play his role. He's going to do what he's supposed to do. High IQ, make winning basketball. Drew Holiday, Derek White are going down in history. They'll be 10 years from now when we have a discussion of the greatest role players. They're in that conversation. They're great in that regard. You might not be a part of that GOAT conversation, but you'll be in history. You'll be remembered as a good player. It's only about 2% of players that really end up in that conversation anyway. It's not many that end up in that conversation anyway. We talk about Charles Barkley, Mitch Richmond, Latrell Spirell. The names go on and on and on and on. They were good players. They were great in their own right. Jose, my boy, he said, I don't know if it's too high, but I would like to see him with a young team in OKC. Imagine Bronny versus old Bron in the playoffs. That's another yeah. That's another young team where yeah. he'll learn, he'll get better, 
and they do a great job with developing talent over there. It's it's tough though, because I mean I feel like that would be almost like the same thing they just made with Case and Wallace. Like is a, a off guard who's a little smaller who can really shoot and play defense. So I, I think it would be it wouldn't be a bad pick. I mean OKC they've got the luxury. They've got a lot of pieces to play with and uh, and some time to figure it out. I mean not too much time, but you know, definitely it's possible. I was also going to mention the Heat as another team that could yeah. possibly take Bronny at some point in the draft uh, Thursday. I'm not expecting it on on Wednesday, but Thursday he could definitely make an impression. I mean, he's been around that team basically since he was a kid. I'm sure they've watched him growing up through the AAU circuit. They they probably already know. There's teams like the Lakers, the Heat. They don't really need to evaluate him too much. They already know what they need to know. Like they've seen him for years. So, um, and him with Spo, and then they always find gems in the second round or undrafted. And he could just be another one of those gems that they find and then develop. And then who? I mean, Bron could go back to Miami. That wouldn't be a bad place to go. So, especially with them on the fence with Jimmy and all that stuff. I mean, it's it's possible.